Hello and welcome to this A-level chemistry video where I'm going to help you to prioritise your revision for the paper 2 exam for AQA chemistry. There are 21 different topics that you can be assessed on on paper 2 and I've done an in-depth exam analysis of all of the paper 2s that there have been to help you find out the answers to these questions. Which topics come up the most often and which are worth the most marks? Are there some really consistent topics that are assessed every time? And are there some parts of topics that come up more than others? I'll answer all of those in this video. The first step in prioritising your revision for paper 2 is to know which topics could be assessed. Paper 2 is about organic and physical chemistry, and so all of organic chemistry could be assessed. In terms of the physical chemistry, there are a number of topics that could be assessed. We have amount of substance, bonding, energetics, kinetics, Kc equilibria, and the rate equation. And you'll notice as we work our way through this video that the physical chemistry topics are particularly important. And this is all alongside relevant practical skills. So this is typically the required practicals, for instance, the iodine clock and rate equation determination, along with organic preparations and chemical testing for organic functional groups. There are lots of different topics that can be assessed on paper too. So knowing that some topics appear every single year is of great importance when prioritising your revision. There are six topics that have been on all eight of the paper twos that there have been for this course. And they are rate equations, carboxylic acids and derivatives, nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, halogenoalkanes, aromatic chemistry and amines. So these six topics are a really good place to start your revision. The papers themselves are not always balanced and sometimes some topics carry more marks than others. So looking at which topics take the most marks on particular papers can also be useful to help you to prioritise your revision. And so what I've done is I've looked at which topics carry the most marks in the top three per paper over the eight years. And for six out of those eight years, rate equations have been one of the biggest three questions on the paper. And then this is followed by the amount of substance topic, which five out of those eight times, it's been one of the big three topics on a paper two. Carboxylic acids and derivatives comes in in third place with half of the time they've been one of the big three topics and chemical equilibria for Kc is in fourth place with three out of those eight years. It's been one of the most important three topics. In terms of the mean number of marks for a particular topic over the eight papers from 2017 to 2024, the rate equation topic is consistently worth the most marks. On average, nearly 12% of the marks for a paper two paper come from the rate equation topic. Amount of substance comes in in second place with about 9% of the overall marks and carboxylic acids and derivatives closely behind with 8.8% of the overall marks on the paper two paper. And then you can see that there are three more topics that follow quite closely behind for between seven and six marks on average per paper. And then if we consider the total number of marks for the most important 10 topics on average across these eight years, that would give you on average 74 marks per paper if you really excelled in those 10 topics. And in 2024, 67 marks was an A. So it's actually possible to get an A grade by just being really good on those 10 topics. At least it would have been in 2024. And in fact, an A star was only 82 marks last year. And so that would only have been picking up eight more marks across the other 11 topics in order to secure an A star on paper two. If we take a look at a graph that shows the total number of marks that have been available per topic across all eight of these papers, you can obviously see the same pattern on the left hand side in terms of which topics have got the biggest bars. That is, of course, rate equation as you would expect. But what this graph also shows is the spread of marks that have been available each year. Rate equation consistently high scoring 
each year, you can see that there are eight good sized bars, which means every year a lot of marks are available for this topic. And as we work our way towards the right, you can see both the bars getting smaller, but some of these topics are not assessed in a particular year, which means that they come up with a lower frequency. And obviously the topics on the right hand side come up less frequently and are worth fewer marks. It's worth looking at these topics here, which were not assessed in 2024, which does make them ever so slightly more likely to be assessed in 2025. So this is things like amino acids, proteins and DNA, polymers, organic analysis and chromatography. And since chromatography is a required practical, that means that that is quite likely to come up in 2025. There are 21 topics that could be assessed on paper two, but there are even more subtopics, so that's smaller parts of a particular topic. And so which of these comes up in terms of being worth the most marks consistently across all of the papers? Well, required practicals 10 and 5 have on average been worth six marks each year across these eight papers. And then the rate equation, so that's the derivation of the rate equation working out order for a particular chemical's concentration, has been worth five, and as has proton NMR and nucleophilic addition. So those four are the most important subtopics to prioritise, and then you can see that there are four more that are worth, on average, four marks each year. And then there's quite a lot of subtopics worth, on average, three marks each year. And so three marks, whilst that doesn't sound very much, when we've drilled down into small bite-sized bits of information for the Chemistry 2 paper, this really does help you to prioritise your revision. Sometimes it's worth looking at which subtopics were not assessed the previous year because those subtopics become slightly more likely to be assessed the following year. But of course, no guarantees. We're just trying to read between the lines for what was not assessed previously. And in 2024, there were no marks on paper two for nucleophilic addition elimination, nor polymers, nor infrared spectroscopy from organic chemistry. And then from physical chemistry, things that are often assessed on paper two but weren't last year, there is the reacting mass and percentage by mass calculations, Arrhenius equation, and the ideal gas equation. None of these subtopics came up in 2024. To finish off, I'd like to restate the fact that I really do recommend that you revise as many of these topics as possible, but I do recognise that when you're in the final days before the exam, you really do want to know where to best prioritise your efforts. I've put some links into the description for this video that might be useful for you to check out to help you revise these specific topics that I've covered. And then what I'd also say is that if you do some revision for a paper two topic that doesn't come up on paper two, do remember that that could still come up on paper three. So any of that type of revision, definitely still worthwhile. Okay, good luck, everybody.